Hepatitis C is not transmitted by casual contact. This is trans blood to blood transmission. They're confusing hepatitis A and they're confusing hepatitis B and so on. Hepatitis A is spread by uh, uh, fecal oral transmission. So contaminated food, essentially. And that's where the issue comes about making, preparing food. Hep C, it's not an issue. You do not transmit disease that way. Anybody can contract hepatitis C unknowingly uh, through something innocent as, you know, getting a, a tattoo or getting a, a needle or any type of blood products. Everybody has minor surgeries in their life uh, and they never think twice about you know, where did that blood come from? There was a lot of publicity in Canada made around the so-called tainted blood scandal where people were transfused blood that wasn't screened for hepatitis C very early after the discovery of the virus. But anyone that received a blood transfusion in Canada before 1992 was at risk for hepatitis C because the blood wasn't screened. So some people don't even remember getting a blood transfusion many, many years ago. Someone might have had a blood transfusion during childbirth 30 years ago and not remember that they had that done, or maybe remember but not have thought it was important, that person may be a middle-aged woman now who has chronic hepatitis C and has no idea. Someone may have used injection drugs even just once in their lifetime when they were experimenting in the 70s. That person might have hepatitis C infection. It's intranasal cocaine, people don't usually think of that as a risk factor, but sharing the straws people, that gets little flecks of blood, that's one of the roots of transmission, and that's a much more commonly used drug than some of the harder drugs like heroin. So somebody with hep C, bloody nose, here's a straw, hey, who's next? Hey, welcome to the club. You got cut in your nose? Hey, welcome to the club, <laughs> you know, the hep C club. And then in Canada, because we have such a huge multinational mixed ethnic population, many people contracted hepatitis C prior to coming to Canada um, in their countries of origin through no fault of their own because in many countries in the past and in some countries still currently, uh, they're use, reusing medical equipment that hasn't been properly sterilized.